Hello my fellow Mayor Sin City Skylines fans and welcome to Designing New Cities episode 12. In this one I'm back to the Grand Spiral City where I have built the underground spiral which goes the other way compared to the above ground spiral. Now I need to actually connect the spiral with the above ground spiral and make entrances and exits allowing vehicles to use both spirals to get anywhere in the city. I've already connected the highway ramps to the above ground road which takes the traffic in the spiral from inside to outside where the traffic actually finds a way out of the city using these two ramps. Now I need to connect the underground spiral to the above ground spiral so that sims and their vehicles will have much better ways of traveling throughout the city. The first thing that I have to take a look at is how the traffic is getting in. So they get in like I said through these two highway ramps and they use the above ground spiral to start moving throughout the city. So at some point they actually find a reason to go back to one of the buildings that are here. For example, it could be trucks from this industry here, generic industry, which produces goods, over to something like this low density commercial shop, which means that they now have to find a way back over here. How do we do this? Well, if that vehicle has traveled above ground using the spiral to get over here, it now needs the way to get to the underground spiral to spiral back down here and go to the beginning. For me to do this, I have to find spots where I'm going to actually place these ramps which are going to connect the above ground and the underground spirals. Now I first have to disable the snap tool tools and choose the freeform road. Now I'm going to count about 3 underground spirals and 2 above ground spirals. So 1, 2 and 1, 2, 3. I want to connect the second spiral which is above ground taking the traffic throughout the city over to the underground spiral, the third ring which is taking the traffic back to the center. So what I'm going to do is go above ground, choose a home which I'm going to demolish. So let's say this one over here. Demolish that one, go back to the highway ramp and take this road and this highway ramp like so from here, underground and then into this road down here. What this is going to provide is an easy way for vehicles to go back to the center using this underground spiral which ends over here. Now if any of the vehicles need to access these buildings here, I also need to give this road a path that is going to go into one of these so that the vehicles can go from this underground spiral over to this highway ramp and get to these buildings here. So now we have a way for them to actually go back. But we also need to add more ways of them to interconnect between these two spirals. So for example here, we added this one to go from the second ring of the above ground spiral to the third ring of the underground spiral. But I also want to give vehicles a way to get from the underground spiral over to the above ground spiral. So for example, this vehicle has turned down here and it's now using the underground spiral going through here. But at some point it might actually want to get onto this road and not have to go all the way to the beginning and then turn this spiral twice in order to get to here. So what I'm going to do is check where the spiral is going, so like this. And then choose for example this spot here to where I'm going to dezone and bulldoze this house. And then take the highway ramp, again using the freeform tool to go from the second ring now. Because we entered at the third ring, but that soon becomes the second ring as we turn over here. So from this place here, from this underground spiral, we want to go to this above ground spiral. So we go like this and turn over here to the left and we are back into the above ground spiral. Now I just need to make sure to fix anything that has been broken with this road being placed here like for example this and this pathway if possible should go above this highway ramp although that might... okay actually it worked out, excellent. So to here and then over here. So everything is connected, this is unzoned and now sims have a way to go from the underground spiral back onto the above ground spiral while over here they have a way to go from the above ground spiral down to the underground spiral. And this should interconnect pretty much everything with the vehicles, everything is already connected with the paths for sims who use them to walk around, as you can see many of them use it to walk around and they can get to pretty much any service from anywhere. If you take a look at the schools, you can see that the school coverage is universal as well for the high schools and the university here in the middle and some of them are actually getting educated at university level even all the way here. As for health, I do have a hospital in the middle and many clinics. 
I do have fire safety, which means that everything is covered with these stations. Now if we take a look at the roads, we can see that when we have a fire house, it actually covers an area that only spans a few blocks all the way to here, for example. And you can see that the rest of it is apparently not covered. Now this is something that is going to be fixed by the underground spiral, because it is going to give a way for the service vehicles, fire trucks in this example, to travel anywhere where they want using the underground and the above ground spiral. Now I'm going to take a while to build all those entrances and exits on the above ground and underground spiral and then show you how that turns out. Alright, so here we are. I have placed one off ramp and one on ramp connecting the two spirals. And over here I have the ones that go from the above spiral down to the underground spiral. And down here I have the ones that go from the underground spiral to the above ground spiral. I'm probably going to have to add a few more, especially on the far edges, for example here and here, so that the vehicles have an easier time connecting between the two circles. They get quite long as the spiral grows, so it takes a while for a utility vehicle, a service vehicle, to get through an entire ring and get to the other ring where it needs to do something. So like I said, I'm probably going to add a few more of these, but for now, let's concentrate on getting the trash in and out. Currently, I have a few of these buildings which are inside, which are mostly trash collectors with the exception of one incineration plant here in the middle. The incineration plant sends out its vehicles through here, like this, and once they are full, they will need to find a way to get back to the middle here and then go back into this road so that they can be emptied in the incineration plant. As for the other buildings, these are the waste transfer facilities which came with the latest DLC, the Sunset Harbor, and over here I have the waste processing complex which needs to pick up that trash from these waste transfer facilities and then burn it or do whatever it does with it over here. Now, for that to happen, I do have these two highway ramps which go underneath here and they need to connect the spiral to these places so that the trash can be collected and disposed of. Now, the garbage vehicles which come from the waste transfer facility need to use the above ground spiral and then get to a point where they will just turn and then get to from here, for example like so, they turn and then they go underground into the spiral to take the trash to the processing center. Now since I do have two spirals, one going outwards and one going inwards, I do need to give the ability for the inward spiral to actually do the same thing. So I'm going to take a row through here, like so, and then dig it one level down and then get it into this highway ramp here so that no matter will a vehicle go to the center of the city or to the outskirts, it will still find a way to get its waste to the waste processing complex. Now on its way back, the vehicle uses this ramp and then once again there are two choices. This vehicle can go back through here, I'll once again go to level 2, all the way here and then enter through here, through this ramp into the above ground spiral. Now for that vehicle to be able to collect the trash from this industry here, it also needs a way to get into this area here and that I can provide it if I take a branching off here, go underneath level 2 and then go like so and then go to level 1 and connect it in here. So now it is possible for these vehicles to go into this highway ramp, go here and pick up the trash from the industrial buildings lined up here. Now additionally I should provide a way for these vehicles to start garbage collection right away by going into the underground spiral, going through a highway ramp to the above ground spiral and picking up the trash on the outer rings instead of going to the middle rings and then going outwards. In order to do that, I simply have to connect this incoming highway ramp with the empty garbage trucks over to the underground spiral, like so for example, and then the vehicle can get in there, go all the way for example to here and then enter this ring of the above ground spiral and pick up all the trash here. Now I do seem to have messed up these zones here, so I'll need to fix these up. I think it is probably because the ramp broke down the paths. The paths are what keeps the buildings being zoned on only one side of the street. So now I need to fix this and that should do it. Now that I have done that, there is just one slight addition that I'm going to add here because the empty garbage trucks get onto this ring of the underground spiral. It should give them a way to exit onto the next spiral, the one being over here, and then to pick up all the garbage there faster than to go another ring in. 
So I'm going to do a ramp which goes from the underground one over to the above ground one and just fix up if I create any issues with the paths like I did right now. And then I just need to use the toggle zoning tool to get the zone fixed up. There we go. As I mentioned, I'm probably going to need more of these and the build just got more complicated with two spirals, but I think it is much cleaner now with the two spirals than it was with all the underground tunnels that I had before. Now let's take a look at the traffic and see is it really going to be able to use all of these ramps. Currently I don't see any problems, so far at least, and it's really great to watch the vehicles use the spiral going all in the same direction. This is actually one of the problems that I need to talk about. Building is on fire and has burned down. Why has it burned down? Well, let's take a look where was the nearest firehouse. I think that's this overlay. So the nearest firehouse was actually just next to it. But because of the way the city is built and the traffic goes only one way, you can see that the fire truck coming from this firehouse was unable to service this building which was on fire. The closest other Firehouse was, let's follow this uh, ring. Actually, this one here. So this fire truck should have started from here, taken this ring down here, gone all the way here, into this ring, then gone a one more cycle, and then gotten all the way here to this building. And that's the problem because these buildings send out their vehicles only to a certain distance. You can see it by the green area of effect here. So this is as far as the building would naturally send out its vehicles. This is something that is a problem with my current design, with the spiral design and the city going one way. So I'm going to try and use the underground spiral to solve this problem with the extra ramps connecting the two spirals. If this doesn't work, I'm going to see about a mod which is going to force these service vehicles a bit farther on. Now, currently I have a similar problem with the dead folks. They aren't getting picked up because the hearses do the same thing. Even though I have dead care, which is for example, closest one to this place, let's see. And the traffic comes from here. Close one is here. So this one is one out of nine. So this one should send out its vehicle and pick up this dead person here. But if you check out the road, the closest one is possibly this one yeah so you see that worked out even though if we take a look at the green area marking how far this building should have an influence that building was too far apparently by this green influence but it was still serviced but as you saw that building had burned down before a fire truck had gotten there so it is something that will require some handling to see just how well the services are going to work out i think that by adding more of these underground ones I'm going to be able to make this work out better, but we'll see. And there is one more thing that I will have to do because I have increased the speed limit on the above ground roads to, I believe, 70. I will have to do the same thing for all the underground ones. You can see currently that it says 40 here and 40 underground, as you can see. This is all something that I will have to fix to allow them to go faster underground than they are currently going above ground and there are a few places above ground which are 40 because I had to fix up some of these streets and then that resets their speed. So as soon as I increase the speed limit on the underground spiral everything should run much smoother. That's something that is going to take a long time because the spiral is pretty huge right now and I am going to also as you can see have to deal with some of these issues with the service vehicles. Hopefully with an increase of speed for the underground spiral and more highway on and off ramps between the two spirals, these service vehicles should fix these problems with the city. But I'm going to leave that for the next episode. As you can see, I have a lot of work ahead of me. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more episodes.